Welcome back to another Biomutant video and today we are going to be looking at the crafting system in Biomutant. It is fairly simple, there isn't really much to it, but it's worth going over and giving you guys a heads up. You do get introduced to the crafting system really early on in the game and it is something that you probably will be dabbling into quite a bit as you're playing along. Now you can either craft weapons or armor, so let's look at the armor first. If you go to your legs, here you can see that you can only modify the items you can't really craft armor you need to find armor around the world or buy them from npcs now as you can see here if i go into this one and i modify i can add an add-on selecting the add-on these are the stuff that you can find in the open world that will allow me to increase the armor and effects of that piece now as you can see they go up quite a bit all the way up to 33 which is limit of this one and you can see that this is a two star item now of course you do have different pieces within the game and this green thing that you see here the 11,730 is the resale value of the item if you choose to sell it on now this one is a six star item and as you can see it has two mod points so if i can i can basically essentially put this one on here taking it to 38 and then add another one that will take it even more this one takes it to 40. it's pretty awesome and it also increases my critical chance so this is the type of thing that you can do obviously these are going to be really difficult to nail down and actually you know make you know the perfect build but it's going to require some farming require vendoring and it is possible now, as you can see, these require materials, chips, the water bottle, wood, stuff that you find in the open world or simply by breaking the items down for scraps. Now, when it comes to the actual weapon side of things, this is where it becomes interesting because here you can craft new items. So here we need to select a new base. These are the bases of the item that you have. You can pretty much pick anyone you want, but let's go with the hammerhead, right? select the hammerhead now we've got the base what you want to do here is the handle this is what you your character basically holds the weapon with and again it boosts up the stats that you can see on the right hand side with the greens as it's going up and down let's select this one here the toothbrush handle boom now we've got the handle now we've got the brush base we've got the base up for the type which is the hammer on this item, I can even add an add-on. Now, not all weapons will allow you to add an add-on, but you can. And once you've done this, you craft it and you have the item. Now, if you don't like it, you can simply discard and come back to this point. Now, these items here, this is another one I crafted earlier. Pretty damn sweet, right? This gives a 50 extra damage to radioactive. It's a 617. It is awesome. I absolutely love this weapon. This is another one that I've built with a 10 heat these are pretty sweet weapons and you know you'll go a long way you can also create new ranged weapons and these are again the same principle let's for example say you want to let's find one that's actually got good damage let's go with this one wahop so we select wahop we need to select the grip so you've got a choice of three grips let's go with this one the jack boom now we've got the stock and the stock as you can see we'll go with this one boom then you've got top mod which is another item that you can put on taking it to there you've got the magazine which again adds to your dps so we've got the armor piercing and block clip that will increase to 304 to 315 these are all the same so let's go with this one and then we finally get the muzzle which again increases even further damage so if we look at this one here let's go with that and there you have it this is a complete item now obviously i can't craft this because i don't have enough tin material to actually make this but essentially you're putting different pieces on a weapon and crafting it in a way that best works for you this item is 313 to 435 in damage the 435 is a crit chance the 313 is the base damage it is a rifle and it is a 12 percent crit chance and a precision 
and the precise on this reduces the bullet spread to zero degree. It's a, the crafting system in this game is really nice. Now, what I really like about this is also, now you could also click on this and then go randomize and just say yes. And it will just randomly put stuff for you together and give you an, a weapon that you could potentially use. It's nice. It's an option and it'll, it'll basically always put items on that you can craft. That essentially is the crafting system within the game. Now there is one other aspect to this game and I will show you now. Now there is something else that you... Now once you've built your weapon, you're going to want to enhance it and you're going to want to level it. So here is basically where you come to in order to do that. You see these air balloons in the villages and the towns that you visit. You simply climb up these. So when you interact with this bench, you'll be brought here. Now the difference between these items and, you know, how you would do it in the open world. Let's say for example, this one, you go, you modify, you get the option now of quality and material. If you want to increase the quality, it gives you a plus quality decent. You will increase your damage to 203 to 272. However, if you want to go through materials, which is going to cost you a lot of materials, it can take you all the way up to nano eight, and this will increase your damage to 213 to 282. Now you can do both and it'll increase your stats quite a bit, but this is another way to increase the level of the item and allow you to push it that bit further. So after you've crafted the weapon and you're happy with it, if you feel that it's getting weak, you've always got the option of coming here and upgrading it. Now, a weapon that I'm using currently is this one here. It is pretty awesome. If I want to upgrade it, as you can see, it goes up to 625 or 631. I don't have the materials for this and I don't want to waste these right now, but essentially that is how you do it. And that is how you upgrade an item with the workbench. I hope this has been useful. I hope this has been informative. The materials you find in the open world, so you're going to be scrounging and gathering every place you go to. So, and there is a plentiful supply of them. And if you don't find it, the weapons and armor that you pick up, you can also break and get materials that way. Either way, there's never a shortage of materials, even though you see me having a shortage of materials because I've been crafting and I've been crafting a lot. That said, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope it's shown you and taught you how to craft and how to use the system to your advantage. And if it has, leave a comment below and let me know. Until the next video, stay safe and remain legend. Thanks so much for watching my video. If you look over to the left, you'll find a video that I'm recommending to you that I think you might actually enjoy. On the right, you'll see a video that is recommended by YouTube. I really do hope you enjoyed the video and until the next one, remember to always remain legend.